Once the hearing sessions are finished, the inspector will consider what has been said, along with all the written comments, and come to a view about the soundness of the plan. The vast majority of plans need to be changed in some way to make them sound. Very often, councils will ask up front for inspectors to say what changes are needed. These changes are called main modifications. Inspectors will usually tell the council what changes are needed and agree the wording as part of a written exchange, which would be published on the examination website. Once the inspectors are happy that the proposed changes reflect what they think is necessary, there will be a public consultation to allow other parties to have their say. Any consultation comments are considered by the inspector, who would then write a report that sets out their conclusions on whether the plan is sound and legally compliant, and the changes that are necessary. The final report is published on the examination website, and the council then decides if it wants to formally adopt the plan. If they do, that must be with the changes recommended by the inspector. End-to-end, -end, most examinations take around a year to a year and a half from start to finish. Some take less and others take longer. Local plans are complex things to prepare and lots of people and organisations make comments on them. So they do take time to examine. Delays can occur for a number of reasons. A common one is where the inspector thinks there is a lack of evidence to justify specific parts of the plan. Where this happens, one of the options open to inspectors is to pause the examination to allow that work to be undertaken by the council and for it to be consulted on. The inspector is not usually duty bound to delay the examination by allowing the council to do further work, particularly where the issue can be resolved by suggesting changes to the plan or the inspector does not think that further work could be completed in a reasonable time and would resolve the issue. Nevertheless, part of the inspector's job is to be pragmatic and look for reasonable solutions to help address soundness issues. Local plans are by their very nature complex. Part of that complexity comes from the range of different views about what the plan should contain. Diversity of view is of course a good thing, but it naturally brings with it disagreement, particularly on issues where there may be no right or wrong answer. Once the examination is finished, any concerns about the contents of the plan should firstly be raised with the Council. This is because it is their responsibility to prepare and adopt the plan, and to then use it when making planning decisions. The Planning Inspectorate has no powers to change the plan once it has been adopted. When carrying out local plan examinations, inspectors first and foremost uphold the principles of fairness, openness and impartiality. They are also required to follow the Planning Inspectorate's Code of Conduct and are bound by the Civil Service Code. If you think these principles have not been followed, you can make a complaint or submit any other feedback to the Planning Inspectorate. It is also always great to hear feedback where you think the examination was well run, even if you are unhappy with the outcome. If you think there has been a significant legal error in the way the examination was conducted, you could seek to challenge the plan in the courts. However, before doing this, you should seek advice from someone with specific expertise in this area. I hope you found this local plan series helpful. And remember, you can find detailed information on most of the points in these videos by following the links on the webpage. <laughs>